Hey, what's up, people? Piz out here, and today I want to talk to you guys about the man who killed Hitler and then the Bigfoot. Now, not all that long ago, I was doing a live stream on this channel, and one of my viewers said, Hey, have you heard of the man who killed Hitler and then the Bigfoot? To which my response was, Is that a movie? They said, yes, you have to check out the trailer. I checked out the trailer immediately, and afterwards, two things crossed my mind. One, what the hell is Sam Elliott doing in this movie? And two, I have got to see this freaking movie. So I went into The Man Who Killed Hitler and then The Bigfoot, not really knowing what to expect. And by the end of the film, I was absolutely blown away. Now, Sam Elliott stars in the film as a World War II veteran who, back during World War II, he killed Hitler. And the movie shows us exactly how he killed Hitler through a series of flashbacks. But we mostly stay with Sam Elliott's character in the present. And he is kind of a lonely old guy living with his pet dog and just going through the motions. That is, until a couple of government agents show up at his door and ask him to go up to Canada and kill the Bigfoot. So Sam Elliott packs his bags, goes up to Canada and kills the Bigfoot. But the whole killing Bigfoot angle in the movie is really just a small portion of the film. The killing Hitler uh, angle is just a small portion of the film. What this movie is really about is a man dealing with regret and loss. And the way the movie handles regret and loss was incredibly sad incredibly powerful and incredibly moving darn near tear jerking toward the end dare i say now i certainly was not expecting to go through that range of emotions watching a movie entitled the man who killed hitler and then the bigfoot but my head is off to writer producer director robert Kraskowski or Krakowski. i apologize if i butchered your last name sir because this is an exceptionally well written and well-directed film. And the performances from top to bottom are absolutely fantastic, particularly Sam Elliott, who delivers a phenomenal performance here. He is so good in this movie. He is able to convey so much without saying a word. He has just just that, that, that face, that voice, that mustache. Um, and <laughs> you know, the way the movie deals with you know, uh, the regret that Sam Elliott's character feels because, you know, World War II took him away from the love of his life um, was incredibly sad, yet incredibly powerful and moving. There's also some great moments in the film between Sam Elliott's character and his brother where they kind of are reconnecting that are handled so, so freaking well. And the whole thing with killing Bigfoot it really seemed like that whole sequence, which really is, is, is kind of brief, to be honest, that whole part was less about the Bigfoot and more about, you know, taking care of unfinished business, having a kind of, you know, uh, epiphany, uh, moment. Um, I was really, really, really blindsided by this movie. I loved the man who killed Hitler and then the Bigfoot. Um, I cannot say enough good things about this movie. I was also very pleasantly surprised to see that one of the producers on this film was Lucky McKee. If you guys haven't seen May, uh, Lucky McKee's film, by all means, go check out May. I was just talking to some friends just the other day, really. We were talking about Lucky McKee. I'm like, you know, this guy needs to direct more movies. This guy needs to make more movies. We need more Lucky McKee movies. So it was good to see his name attached to such a, a unique and really well-made film. This was clearly not a movie with, you know, a lot of budget, uh, at, uh, at the filmmaker's disposal, but, um, it looks fantastic. The performances are fantastic. Um, it's everything about this movie was absolutely fantastic. Again, I cannot recommend it enough. Seek out the man who killed Hitler and then Bigfoot and watch it. Um, yeah, I, I again, incredibly powerful, very moving and darn near tear jerking at the end. I did not expect that going into the man who killed Hitler and then the Bigfoot. And yet here I am practically with tears in my eyes, a great movie. Go check it 
out. If you've seen the man who killed Hitler and then the Bigfoot, please let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments section below. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. They're also right around here. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care. And until next time, peace. Join the A Buck A Month Club and help support my channel on Patreon. Thank you to my current patrons, Kevin Smythe, Orc145626, B-Movie Mike, Robert Sobel, Tari Delamore, Stephen Flanagan, Lori Holt, Mitch O'Dell, Farron Sutton, Craig Farrand, Jeremiah Lambert, Grindhouse Grotto, Joseph Charlesworth, Chris Earls, Derek Janna, Demon Waffles, Tim Williams, Stone Gassman, Zachary Barton, Mr. Bibby86, James Welch, Eli Geisler, Jeff Overing, Cliff Hostetter, Cal McGuire, Jay the Stingray, Lauren Dixon, Travis Davis, Dave Barnes, Jonathan Lundy, Chris Parsons, Chris Gonzalez, Trenton Bowser, Alan Scott, and Vic Corbin. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.